Guys, let's go. On the set of Detroit 187, Rolling. Kevin Hooks is responsible for everything. Action. He's the executive producer. Can we look at it again, guys? Slash director. She's going to wind up. And the buck. Okay, here we go. Stops with him. And if he doesn't look familiar to you, maybe he should. He's been around the movie biz a long time. He started out as a child actor in the critically acclaimed movie Sounder with legendary actors Cicely Tyson and Paul Winfield. I want you to beat the life they got all laid out for you in this place because there ain't nothing, there ain't nobody here. People come up to me all the time and talk about, you know, how they've shared it with their families and their kids and sort of lasted generations and that's, uh, that's saying a lot. He also played Thorpe in the pop culture classic, The White Shadow. From a kid in Sounder at 12, mm -hmm. to move into a director's role, you're an, uh, an executive producer here and a director for right, something like right. Detroit 187. I mean, you've come full circle. Yeah, well, I, I think that basically means I'm old. Kevin, who grew up in Philly, has had three careers in Hollywood. Actor, director, then finally producing his own work. ABC's Detroit 187. As the driving force behind this new gritty crime drama, he's taken some heat over fears it will shine an ugly light on Detroit crime. The reality of it is that, you know, we're doing a crime drama, so we, we will obviously be, our detectives will be investigating crime. Detroit, Michigan. But the scope does not end there. You will see in and among, you know, the storylines that we do, we will take opportunities to show, you know, what's really happening in a positive light in Detroit. And the show has been eagerly anticipated by Channel 7 as a major hit in the fall lineup. Initially, Detroit 187 was supposed to be shot documentary style until a tragic death unfolded while A&E cameras were rolling. When seven-year-old Ayanna Jones ended up being gunned down, how did that affect Well, I, I, first of all, that's just a, a terrible tragedy. We we're very sensitive to that. So much so, their creative team immediately got in touch with the powers that be in the city of Detroit. And we were willing to make some changes, really, in our presentation of the show to, um, you know, to deal with that. With great story development about community activism, they hope to lift a dark cloud from a city already burdened by a bad economy and job losses. I think creatively, uh, we're really striving to do something that really hasn't been done. Carolyn Clifford, Channel 7, Action News.